Current kite waveboards are delivered with foot straps in a fixed position and this limits the freedom for moving your body above the board in a comfortable way. You either have to twist your ankles a lot or adjust your foot strap to a much larger size. I developed the rotating disc to achieve a much better foot position with lots of flexibility. Now I can turn my foot into the correct angle and avoid stressing my knees and twisting my ankle. You can still maintain a good position close to the center line of the board, so you can give good pressure on both edges of the board. You slide your foot into the strap so there's not much tension. Then you can turn your foot by slightly lifting your toes on the heel so you slide over the board's deck, just having weight on your forefoot. When you have the desired angle position, you can lock by forcing the foot more into the strap and keeping your toes down so you have even more tension in the strap. When removing your foot from the strap, the disc returns into its initial position. Moving and locking becomes quite natural, so you can concentrate on your surfing. Locking against unwanted rotation happens due to high friction resistance on two locations. Friction between the foot and the foot pad on the center disc. Friction between the center disc and the outer ring. Furthermore, putting weight on your heel increases friction resistance towards the board's foot pad. So more force on your foot results in more locking. Shifting sides on your boards becomes much easier because you can turn the strap with your toes and just slide in. The rotating disc is designed in a way so sand can get washed away when rotating the disc underwater. The product consists of a center disc and an outer ring. The center disc can be fixed on the board using the existing screws and plugs from the foot strap. The center disc keeps the outer ring on the board and the foot strap is then to be mounted on the ring. The disc can be mounted onto the existing foot pad as shown here or directly onto the deck needing a foot pad just outside the disc. For increased cushioning, a thick layer of foot pad can be mounted around the disc so your heel stands even softer. For wave riding you can go down in your knees and choose the correct angle between your feet. For the cutback the heel of your front foot can even turn more to the back. For this jibe I turn the front foot heel almost towards the center, ready for a reversed position upwind. I can then quickly shift from front foot position to downwind for a back loop. Here jibing into the wave, you can see the front leg points towards the sailing direction. Shifting side after jibing is fast and easy. This front foot position would not be possible in a usual centerline fixed strap. On twin tips it's quite relaxed to point your toes towards the nose and keep the back foot just in a small angle. Returning into opposite sailing direction is easier because you can quickly adjust both feet positions and turn your body more into sailing direction. See this fast jibe on my directional waveboard. I'm hitting the strap from the side and slide fast into a locked position. I have used the rotating disc since summer 2009 and I don't want to miss it on my waveboards. The disc gives me lots of comfort to do advanced moves on my board. The decreased tension in my knees and ankles are a great benefit when using the disc. When I use the usual fixed straps I often experience pain in my knees due to hours of twisting on a good surfing day. These problems are almost gone, since I've been surfing with the rotating disc. For further information about the product, please see my website sportsgearsolutions.com. Thank you for watching 